Hey, my name is Alan Axon, sales rep for Spartan Fire and Emergency. Today we're going to do a quick walk around of the North Charleston HDR Rescue. A little bit about North Charleston, they cover 76 square miles. They uh, have 110,000 people in population. In, 20, in 2018, they did just shy of 21,000 calls. They've currently run 11 stations uh, and again have 257 paid personnel. We're going to kind of do a quick walk around. This is an Arrow XT cabin chassis. It's a two-door HDR stainless steel body. It does have a, a Cummins X15 engine, Allison 4000 transmission. This is a, this, it's a duplicate truck of one they currently have in, in service at this time. But a few little bit of adjustments we made for the truck. We're going to kind of take a quick look inside the cab. It is a two-door Arrow XT cab. Uh, currently, they have an intercom system. They can talk back and forth to the passenger area in the back and the walk-in, as well as the camera system, so they can do a visual of the occupants going when the truck is riding down the road. In one compartment here we have behind the cab, we have two different types of Stokes baskets. We have a standard Stokes and we also have one for confined space. Also they carry a little giant ladder in just one compartment. Also on the other side they have room for the uh, engineer's gear. In this compartment back you're going to have two 200 foot cord reels with a set of Genesis. They have a, a 220 volt power unit as well as a gas backup system. Hoses and a quick totes underneath. And this will mirror also on the passenger side of the tr driver side of the truck as well. Coming back, we have an air systems here, which they carry their air cart, their uh, their air reels, and their air bags will go in this compartment, as well as your escape packs for your uh, confined space. Also, we have a battery powered extrication tool as well. Next compartment, you're going to see they're going to have a variety. They carry cribbing. They do have the cribbing basically with webbing which they can take down. They do have cribbing already bundled up, ready to go, and there will be additional cribbing added to the truck when it goes into service. In the next compartment back, you're going to have all your gas tools, which you're going to have your saw, your quick vent saw, chainsaws, as well as your uh, K-12 saw. And in the rear compartment, you're going to wind up having pull-out, slide-out boards for, uh, for your uh, Paratech struts for quick struts for extrication as well as confined space or uh, trench rescue. They do you know, carry a variety of struts on the truck as well. Up in the rear of the truck, we do we have carry rope gear as well. They have drop down compartments all as well. You'll carry medical gear. They also have water, water extinguishers, all the SCBAs for all the riding positions, uh, 110 outlets, Tick thermal imager. They also have a, a pack tracker for the um, air pack system. All the rope gear is going to be in one compartment coming down the sides as well. Everything is in drop down with webbing. And in the front of the truck, actually, what they have is they have it set up to where they can do a command unit here. This truck will be a, su a supplemental for a hazmat. So we have a where they can put their laptop here, they have a radio. Intercom again talking to the front of the cab and also a camera system so they can see the occupants when the truck's in motion. The truck also has two Coleman Mach 8 air conditioning units, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. When the truck is in the fire station, they can plug it in, run the air conditioning so they can keep the box cool during the, during the summer months. Once on the scene, the generator comes on, both units will run and keep the box cool. And there's also a red dot air conditioning system while the truck's in motion so they can keep the body maintained the coolness while until they get on the scene as well. Jumbo airbags are up front. The front compartment across the front will be used for storage for reference material for the hazmat operations and accountability. Also, you got map boxes for them to be able to use again in the back area. So this will become on the scene a, somewhat of a, a, a mini command post, so to speak or a reference center where they can work from. In the driver's side rear compartment, you're going to find a cascade system, which has a four bank cascade. Also has on the top of it, we do have a, 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 a booster compressor that would actually help take the lower pressure and boost it up as well. It runs off the generator. Have a high pressure air reel, as well as a, another SCBA in the back and SCBA storage. Moving forward in the next compartment, you're going to have a toolbox area, which again, they're still putting traffic cones and, and tools in. 
Like I said, there will be more equipment added as the truck gets in service. Next one up, you're gonna have a positive pressure fan, cord reels and lights. In this compartment, you do have a slide out tool boards with tools on them, mount already mounted and other electrical components will be going into this, into this compartment as well. Up in the front compartment, you're gonna wind up having exactly kind of a duplicate of the passenger side, which will be your two reels, extrication tools, and your, your electric unit, and underneath is totes to have chains and uh, extra uh, shackles and, and uh, toe straps that was needed for extrication. Again, in the front compartment behind the cab, you're gonna wind up on the other side, basically with, with your Stokes baskets and a place for the, uh, the driver to be able to store his gear. Again, this is North Charleston's Arrow HD, heavy duty HDR. Again, thanks for wanting to walk around. And if you have any information about North Charleston, they can be on Instagram. Also, they're on Facebook as well as Twitter. Again, thank you very much.